Threatening text messages sent by one Lansing lawmaker to another are at the heart of a personal protection order that a judge recently granted. The text paint a troubling picture of a volatile relationship between Rep. Mari Manugian and Rep. Steve Marino. But tonight, Marino's attorney says those texts do not tell the whole story. Some investigator Ross Jones in Lansing tonight with the very latest. Today marked the first day back in session since Representative Mari Manugian took out a personal protection order against Representative Steve Marino. Today we saw Manugian on the House floor. Marino, we did not. I'm your state representative, Steve Marino. In text messages, the Republican state lawmaker from Harrison Township appears to threaten the life of his former girlfriend, Representative Mari Manugian. That's according to Manugian's application for a personal protection order filed and granted this weekend. Face to face and over text, she wrote, Steve began threatening me and harassing me. It has escalated to a point where I fear for my safety and for Steve's own safety. The two briefly dated, Manugian said, for about four months back in 2019. She said the harassment has been both verbal and physical and ongoing since January of 2020. Manugian included screenshots of text messages she says she received. In one text, Marino is quoted as saying, I'm making it my life mission to destroy you. Later in the same conversation, he tells Manugian, hope your car explodes on the way in. Many of the messages are laced with obscenities. In another text, Marino writes, hide on the house floor because I'm going to park right next to your desk and ream you a new expletive each session day until I leave that place. Last week, Marino was stripped of his committee assignments by House Speaker Jason Wentworth, and today, the Michigan State Police are investigating. Marino was barred from going to Manugian's home, but not prevented from working at the state capitol. Anytime something happens ex parte, there usually has to be an allegation or suspicion that there may be immediate and irreparable harm. Chuck Krosnick is an attorney who specializes in family law. Oftentimes in these domestic PPO cases is that the attorneys talk. They try to find other resolutions. PPOs are um, significant indeed, to say the least. So I would anticipate some discussions, if not between attorneys, which is the norm, than perhaps between the political leaders. Today by phone, Marino's attorney said those text messages were taken out of context and said he'll be filing a motion soon to have this PPO set aside. He would not comment further. We're in Lansing tonight. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right, Ross, thank you.